guys, and welcome to the world's worst Noble Knight deck profile ever, because I don't know how to play Noble Knights, and yeah, they got one, one episode on Daily Duel. I think it's literally the shortest deck on Daily Duel. I'm not taking it out because the deck is bad, I'm not taking it out because I don't know how to play it, because I could probably learn how to play it, the reason why I'm taking it off, because it's not a tag deck, you know? Really, the way that they made this deck, well, stuns and learned, and I don't know if that's how you play Noble Knights in general, but it really just seemed like you just went like, Oh, spam a drop and a quick spell and summon like this rank 5 guy that he's invincible and he's 3000 and he can't be destroyed by battling, can't be targeted, and your opponent can't do shit. Like, yeah, and that's fun. Every single duel, just doing the same thing, equipping like 3 to 4 quick spells, locking my partner out of the play running, playing anything, and us just sitting on this monster. Woo, fun. No, it wasn't, and... I wasn't enjoying myself with it, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take this deck off of uh, Daily Duels and place it with uh, the Battery Man deck that was going head to head with Herodix and then Herodix won. So, hey, you get the best of both worlds, so you get both of them. So, of course, you get uh, two more Daily Duels because, of course, uh, it's a tag day, so you get Lunar and Tiago and this, so, you know, lots of videos today, so, um, yeah. And also, uh, on the channel, it's a premiere of. Uh, the new series uh, Graffiti Kingdom from the live stream yesterday. So if you missed the live stream, you didn't see it. You get to, of course, just watch the series on YouTube. So, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and quickly go to the deck profile. If there's anything wrong with this deck or just any changes, don't suggest them because I don't know, nor do I care. I don't want to play Noble Knights. They're not my type of deck. I'm good. So this deck was pretty much uh, created with a combination of Stanzi and Lunar, and those two are like going back and forth, and they're like, "Yo, hey, run this, do this, do this, do that." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, okay, I guess so." If you, if you tell me, I'm like, "Okay, sure." So I'm trying to explain, it, but really, I, I don't know, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Also, um, big shout outs to um, you know the best Noble Knight player that I know, the Noble Knight of YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and put his. Uh, link in the description like if you want to know double knights go to him because he, he knows it all because me uh, uh i am not I, i'm evil master he's noble knight mastery so yeah you know you i doubt you would go to him and be like hey how do you make a good yubel deck so don't come to me and be like hey you want to help me make noble knights like no i don't know anything about noble knights so i'm gonna try to do the deck profile so wish me luck all right so of course we're running three madrat because i'm assuming that madrat's the best one so you know, you equip it with a noble uh, arms car that's not Excalibur because uh, apparently Excalibur won't equip, re-equip. So you equip it, then you unequip it, and you summon Boars, and then that noble arms would equip the Boars, and then Boars you randomly get one of your noble arms, risk of the graveyard, then you get one of them, and then you equip that one to Madrod, and they're both level five darks. So you exceed into the level five guy. Uh, then the Noble Arms card that uh, was equipped in Madrat, because you only can equip once per turn. So, the one that was equipped to Boars would not re-equip, but the one that was equipped to Madrat would re-equip, and then the, the rank 5 guy's effect, he would equip 3 from the Graveyard. So, you have like a Caliber and Caliburn, and Booty Burn, and all of them fucking swords, I don't know, you know. The most I know from this whole Knights of the Round Table thing is Sonic and the Black Knight, so that's how out of, out of the loop I am, and Sword Art Online. <laughs> so, not much. So, yeah, 3 Madrat. <coughs> of course, 3 Merlin. He helps with the consistency of the deck. You know, he's a lone fire for Noble Knight, so why the hell wouldn't you run him? Awesome. Boars, he's like the key player. I wasn't sure if you should run 2 or 3 or 1, so I just went with 3 because I kind of felt like when, you know, they were trying to explain it to me, how Boars work, and it's like, you want to summon from the deck, but not from the hand. I was kind of thinking, like, uh, Messenger Lotto. That's what I was thinking, where Messenger Lotto, you don't want him in the hand, you want to summon from the deck. Boars, same thing. So I was like, oh, if I run the max amount of Boars, that means I'll have the max amount of Boars in the deck to summon from the deck. So uh, it may risk the increased consistency of drawing it, but, you know, it also keeps the increased consistency of there being Boars in the deck, unless I get super unlucky and draw all three Boars. Uh... Should be okay, you know, if this is wrong, you know, like I said, no suggestions. I don't want to hear any suggestions, alright, because I don't know and I don't care. Um, I think I ran only one Guinevere. I think that was my own personal choice just because I felt like since you can only equip her once per turn, it's like, why run multiple of her? Yeah, so you can only use this effect of uh, Guinevere only once per turn, so what's the point of having, like, multiple Guineveres and drawing into multiple Guineveres? It's kind of, eh. But I guess since she is considered a noble arms, 
Um, I guess, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, then I went and won Dristan just because Dristan seemed like it was too good to run, not run, because it's like an 18 beer that you equip it no arms, and you could target a face of card in the field and pop it. And I'm just like, oh, that's so good. And then. Um, since it's at one, and of course this is the number generator, I drew it and my hand was shitty because this is what the one monster that I had and it really wasn't good at the time to be doing its effect and, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure if you're interested or not, like I said, I don't know Noble Knight, so, yeah. Then I ran the one Artorgus, so, I believe it was actually a comment saying that why didn't I send Artorgus and bringing it back with Lady of Lake, I don't know, because they told me to do something else, so, you know. I, I was planning on doing that. I was totally planning on doing that. You know, I was like, oh, foolish. I'm going to send a target and do it. They're like, no, no, send Guinevere and do this play. I'm like, okay. I mean, Stanzi and Lear, you guys are the ones that know how to play with Knights, not me. So, you know. So, anyway, one of targets, you know. He's no monster, so you can go to Lady of Lake. So, it's a one card synchro. Right to this awesome guy, the, the ignoble knight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then I decided to run two Lady of Lakes because I was worried about her clogging since I only had one of Torgus. You know, with, with the Torgus at one, you know, there's the increased chance of drawing it. At least an 18 beer and Foolish is also at one, so increased chance of drawing that as well. So, you know, I was just kind of worried I didn't want to draw like multiple of her and have it clogged, so, yeah. And then I ran uh, three Noble Knight Gwaine. Uh, you know, if you control another light monster, you can special summon this card, so I just go bloop right on the field and and then I guess I XC? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like I said. Uh, I don't think Staunchy's running it, but Lunar was running it, so, you know, I was trying to cooperate it, and apparently we decided to go with him. Like I said, I don't know. So, uh, it's the worst deck profile ever. Uh, a lot of I don't knows, but, you know, I'm a very structured person, and when I take, I kick a deck off of Daily Duels, or more, I have to give it a farewell deck profile. I have to. But like I said, this is the shortest deck on, uh, on Daily Duels. Uh, <laughs> Second to, uh, what, Pendulum Scraps, I got like two episodes, so yeah. This is even shorter, this wins, you know. Next thing you know, I'm just gonna be like, here's a deck profile of a deck that's never been on Daily Duel. Zero episodes, so yeah. So, I don't know. If you run Gwen, you run them. If you don't, you don't. I don't know. Then I ran two last chapters, um, you know, I... I was debating on running three, but I didn't want to clog, and... You know, I had a tag partner, and I didn't want, you know, it, you can only, if your opponent controls a monster, and you control no monster, so... You know, I wasn't sure, you know, if Tiago and Luna would, you know, have monsters in the field, then I would draw this and it would be dead, so, yeah, so, I don't know. If you run three, then you run three. I'm not sure if you, like, treat it like a, like a Buj Incarnation. I don't know. This is that good, but, um, you know, Noble Knight players, you determine it and, you know, pick up your box, your Noble Knight box, and have fun with the deck, I guess, you know. Alright, uh, ran the one Foolish so I can send a Targus, but apparently you can send a Guinevere and have it equipped spell, so that's not bad either. Uh, the one Regeki to clear out the field and hit for damage, soul charge because it's broken, Tr of course triple Rota. Now, it's funny because uh, we have triple Rota, triple Merlin, and triple Madrat, and I still didn't open up with none of them. Now, that's nine cards, so, you know, I mean, they're not heroes. Heroes are still the most consistent deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, but, and they still cry about Stratos. That, that pisses me off, but that's another rant, but, you know, um. It's, it's it's more consistent, you know. I think that in the, in the duel video, I didn't even get Merlin, so... But he's there, he was there, so... Yeah, but, you know, I always thought that, you know, Rhoda was going to go back up because of this deck, and, you know, now it's at three, so let's see what you can do. No, when I switch your new cards. When two Destinies, uh, makes your monster can't be destroyed by battle by card effects once per turn, so pretty good. Uh, I know Stodgy just decided to go with three, but I was like, ah, two is fine. Uh, two Gallatin... So this is the guy. This is the one that increases you by a thousand and you drop by two hundred, I think. Yeah. And um, then uh, two Caliburn. So uh, what's this one? This is the one where I gained the five hundred life points, right? Yeah. So you keep equipping to all the monsters and the exceeds and stuff, and get like redo like the rank five guy, equip all the things, and you can gain all the life points. Uh, then two Excalibur. Uh, you know Excalibur. Can't re-equip, but you can't target it. I mean, it's the most annoying card in the deck. It's literally what makes this deck even remotely good. Because if this card never existed, this deck would just be ass. You can you can summon a freaking big old beater that can't be destroyed uh, twice per turn, and he has high attack, and you just make a one-on-one -on -one and just take his ass. So, you know, this card is what makes the deck good. And then one after the 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 after the
you know, I we only I only decided to run one just because, you know, you pop set cards, but we have a road of creeds and tracks done, so it's not the back I'm worried about. And then of course the road of creeds, because it's one of the key reasons why I was thinking about maybe putting this deck on here. Besides like the deck getting new support, but you know, it could run road of creeds, so it could work fine as a tag deck, but apparently it doesn't, so no. And then the trap stones. Um I'm not sure if you should run both, but I just wanted to make sure that my plays are fine. Alright, extra deck. Like I said, this is this this extra deck is literally by Stunzy. I didn't change it, I didn't edit it. I literally just he had the cards there and I was like, okay, let's just go with that. And if you say so, I don't know. So Oh. Thank you for popping up in my video. <laughs> I hate when shit pops up in my video. Hello? <laughs> Alright, so we ran two of him. I never got to summon him, but he's really good. You know, you get to equip a noble uh, arms card from your deck and then uh, if this card destroyed a monster by battle and sent you to a graveyard, you can get you can add a noble knight or noble arms card from your deck to your hands. And it's so good. It's so good. Like, definitely. I can understand why the ignoble knight of YouTube based his channel on this guy because this guy's really good. Like, yeah, there. Are, you know, before Rudd was at three, this is this is what you had. So good. Charger. I I get that. Okay, because you can put it on top and attack. I guess since this deck makes vibes, I guess, but it really just seems like you just want to go into your boss monster all the time, you know? And I, he kind of has that too good syndrome, kind of like Pleiades, where you're running Castellars and you can like, Oh, I can go into Tyrus and Volcasaurus, or I can just go into Pleiades, like, you know? So, yeah. Volcasaurus, I said, uh, uh, Princess... Who, who, wait, who are the waters? Stanzi, who are the waters? You need... Two level five water monsters, but who are the water? Don't they become dark? Like I said, like I said, Stanzi made this, so I don't know. I don't know why this is here. I'm like, okay, I get that. Blade armor, okay, sure. 101, okay. Excalibur, okay. Why only one of Tardis? Wait, where's the level five guy? Did I just did I accidentally take him out? Hello, hello. That's a wow. I'm so terrible. A Tor. Uh, how do you spell Torgus? Or, oh my god, I can't spell. A G O A R T O. This guy. This guy. I don't. Okay, well, take this out clearly because I can't even summon that. You need to put him in. Like I don't. I don't know. Like, like literally when I popped in, there was a whole bunch of cards moved, and I was just like, like these trap stuns were oasises when they should have been trap stuns. I think maybe like the pro update itself, and then like, all, like half of like. The extra deck was down to 10 cards out of the 5, out of 15, so there was stuff in the side and I just plopped it in there. I'm like, okay, there we go, but I didn't realize that this guy, like the main guy, wasn't even in there, so yeah. To tell you the truth, I probably run more than one, just because, you know, with your consistency of your Madrots and your Merlins and your Rotas and your last chapters, it seems like you would go into maybe one if, you know, if one gets fucked up, you know, you don't want to have only one, so. Um, I really don't like this guy, so him yeah you know so like I said he seems like he has too good syndrome like why would I ever want to go into like Volca Source except for game why would I ever want to go into Tirith when I could just go into him and then he could be awesome why do I want to go into Shark for Fortress you know and I'd rather take the duel slow than try to go for the OTK so you know anyway Cowboy because he wins games a little bubble chain and Shark Fortress I guess I mean I feel, kind of feel like a Castell is missing in here but yeah, maybe maybe some dwellers. And it is a lot of it's, it's, this deck seems like it's missing a lot of the toolbox that it, you know you would love to have access to. You know, there's just some toolboxy cards. So like I said it's not a competitive noble knight deck. You know, if you're making noble knights competitively. You know, you need to make sure you have the toolbox. It's important. You know, 101, Castell, Cowboy, Dweller, Rhapsody, um, uh, Roach, Exiton. You know, those cards. You know, you need your toolbox. You know, it's good to have access to those cards in your extra deck, so when the time arises for you to, to um, play them, they're right there for you. So, yeah, the deck really doesn't have a toolbox, you know, it's running unnecessary things like this and this, where I would much rather have my, and this and this, well, not, maybe not this, but this, and sort of this, you know, and I would just really much rather have my toolbox. I guess level level chain is also part of the toolbox, depending on what deck you run. Uh, level chain is nice. So, yeah, there's the deck profile, I know. Worst deck profile ever, because I don't know Noble Knight. Like I said, if you want to know Noble Knight, if you want to learn Noble Knight, if you want to love Noble Knight, go to this YouTube channel, the Ignoble Knight of YouTube. The link will be in the description. Go to his channel. He is the Noble Knight guy. All right, not me, not me. All right, so like I said, you're gonna get multiple daily duels. So besides this deck profile, you are also getting um, 
uh, lining up with Lunar and tagging with Tiago using the new battery man deck that, you know, went against Rolex and Moss, but now it's going to be on here. So, yeah. So, I hope that you guys are looking forward to it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this dope profile. Like I said, don't make any suggestions. I'm not planning on playing Noble Knights. It's not my type of thing. I don't really like it. So, yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys in uh, Tagging with Tagging and Line Up with Lunar. Alright, thanks for watching.